So I relocated the extruder up to the top of the Ender 3 because when I bought this all metal extruder top here, it didn't quite have enough length on the uh, stem or coming from the, the motor. So it would not actually fit here. Um, so I figured I had to move it around. So what I ended up with was this. All I did was just tie wrap it for now, maybe pull up something in Tinkercad uh, and actually print something nice. But so far it's been working out pretty dang good. And actually I like it a lot better because it feeds now directly into it. All I had to do is just turn around that uh, spool holder. He's directly in there. I can see um, the filament running through and I actually even drew like a little line here to, to make sure that uh, it's not slipping. And then even feeding it in, into there is, is super easy. It's right in the front. And then there's not, I haven't um, changed the length of the uh, Bowden tube at all. And I uh, checked all the the extreme positions of the print head and it doesn't affect um, the Bowden tube much or make any hard angles either. And as you can see, it's, it's printing pretty well here. No issues there. Uh, the only thing is this um, is a little short. It, it will work, but uh, I have an extension coming for it. Um, so tidy it up a little bit, but other than that, I think it looks pretty good, and I can't find anything wrong with this this setup. I actually feel that it's it's quite better. Um, just ease of operation to get to the extruder to watch it to see how it's uh, feeding, and then how easy this is that it just feeds directly into the extruder.